Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, then everybody, fine. So I will answer this question after some time, after we are done with this agile model also. Okay, fine. Next thing, next type of model is called as the agile model. Okay, so whatever we discussed till now, these are a bit old models. Okay, not very old that it is not at all used. They are used. But you know, not suitable for the current scenarios. All right. Let's see why they are not suitable. Okay. So they are used, you know, in very less number of projects comparatively. Most of the projects these days, they go with this Agile and Agile Scrum. So let's see what is this Agile and Agile Scrum then. Okay. So let's see what is a today's environment. Let's list down some of the, you know, features of the current environment. So nowadays, the clients, they do not give all the requirements at once. Means they are very much unclear with their requirements. Okay. They make frequent changes in the requirement. Okay, like, you know, Dhruvita, let's say, she said us, you know, initially she wanted some modular kitchen. Then later she's, uh, she's in, uh, sorry, she sees in her friend's house, there is some, a different kind of kitchen. She comes back and says, you know, I want the change over here. She asks us to change. She looks at, uh, you know, different kind of um, interiors. Again, she asks and comes, uh, comes and, you know, asks us to make the changes there. Let's say she has some different color combination which she has seen in her relative's house. She comes and asks us to make the changes, right? So she is changing the requirements very frequently. And that is a fact because, you know, she is constructing her house once in a lifetime. She wants it to be very good and perfect as per her wish. Right? She wants to be satisfied in it. So we also respect it and you know, fine, we are going to change it for her. Okay. So she is going to make the frequent changes in the requirement. And the environmental conditions also keep on changing. Let's say, uh, you know, we do not get the materials sometimes that we require. Okay. Or let's say we do not require that kind of expertise sometimes the environments are also changing. Let's say the price is going to change repeatedly. The machineries are going to change. So there are frequent changes in the environments plus in the requirements, okay, which affect our project. And she wants, you know, to see her house very quickly. She doesn't, you know, like want to wait for a very long time to get her house constructed. She wants it to be done very quickly because it is her dream house. She wants to live in it. Similarly, what happens, even in this software development, our clients are, you know, more of the times not very much clear about the requirements. They will be changing the requirements very frequently. They want the quick release of the project. Okay. So these are some conditions. Some more things are like, you know, 
let's say we are developing the software using some new technology okay and let's say we are developing some new type of project right so these are the current scenarios and the facts which we cannot deny right anything that we can deny here we cannot deny and when we are developing a new technology based project we will not have enough support documents here okay if we face any kind of problem we do not have any technical documents let's say a new company has come up with a new testing tool which is very new one okay like selenium it is a new tool so if we are using that in our project in case any problem occurs with that tool let's say some compatibility issue or some technical issue we do not get the solution easily no doubt it is a you know open tool less budget but we do not get the solution easily why it is a new tool just two years old tool and when we go to that company there are less people there okay they are unable to support us sometimes but you take qtp it is existing till uh, since you know 10 years and then we have um, hp company who have developed lot of testing tools there are lot of you know employees working there it has about 10 years of history so many problem solution they have found you go to them for a technical support you get it very easily within no time they will solve your problems they have a very good customer support as well right so when we are developing the software using the new technology we will not be getting enough technical support even from the company sometimes okay but even then it is a good technology we want to go for it okay new type of project um let's say you know the project that we are developing is somewhat new to our team right so again there are some you know problems that are coming up which have to be solved so how do you solve this problem we can solve this by discussions okay so there are no support documents or some history documents that are available for us to solve the problem so how do we solve with the discussion we can discuss within the team we can discuss with our clients if we can have some alternate we can discuss with the you know different companies from where we have taken the tools right so by the discussion we can find the solution for the problems that we can find in the development okay and these problems are totally unpredictable because it is completely a new technology new type of a project the problems that we get are also new they are unpredictable and every time we get a problem discuss find the solution and then implement it okay this is the pattern that we got to follow and while we are doing this we might deviate from the objective okay we might deviate from the plan of our project initially we had planned something but um, in the due course of time there were some changes that happened okay there were some problems that occurred due to which there are possibilities that we deviate from the plan this is a main drawback of this agile model okay is it clear so this is the environment wherein we use the agile model these are the consequences of agile model this is a main drawback of the agile model okay so when are we going to use the agile model in the current scenario when there are unclear requirements frequent changes can be uh, expected from the client they want the release of the project very quickly we are you know supposed to use a new technology for this or let's say it is a new type of project we go for the agile model okay wherein lot of problems will be occurring which will be new to us and totally unpredictable still we do some discussion and find the solution and implement it but the problem over here is due to the you know this kind of changing environment we might deviate from the project plan that we had prepared initially okay maybe some changes in the tools maybe the changes in you know the budget sometimes the time many things can change even the requirements okay so this is the agile model now how to have a control over this kind of projects okay how to do the control 
that is possible using the agile scrum okay but before i move to the agile scrum let me just explain you the flow what we do so we have the requirements here we identify the scope then we take only one module at a time for clarity what we do we take only one module at a time we develop it we test it we give it to the client they also do the testing if they are satisfied they will give us the sign off and then we will consider next module if they are not satisfied if they suggest us the changes again we are into this loop develop test and then release okay till the client is satisfied on one module we are not going to move to the next module okay till the client is satisfied with the current module that we are developing and they give us the sign off we do not move to the next module okay so this is called as what agile model all right okay we have the agile scrum model okay let me open a document for this any questions okay let's see what are the questions okay by module do you mean the functionality not always okay module doesn't mean always the functionality it could be the group of functionalities or if the functionality is very large one functionality one module it could be anything okay fabi all right so let's you are welcome okay let's look at the agile scrum let me you know open this uh, file for you okay meanwhile you have any questions you can ask me my computer is a bit slow because it is overloaded with you know different softwares okay fine so let's see what this agile scrum is okay in the agile scrum we try to organize our agile model okay you see here the major problem with this you know okay one second yeah the major problem with this you know agile model is okay we can deviate from the objective or we can deviate from the plan we have the less control over the project okay so what is the solution for that we got to implement some control how to implement a control on the project two ways either we can assign some person to do it and we can also make a list of some documents which can keep the track of what we are doing right so how do we control this ambiguity over here okay this drawback how to be controlled we can do it in two ways okay so you can have so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 6242-2222
seven seven zero seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.